Welcome to property number three. Well, I can definitely tell we've kind of left that 60s era and we have more modern living. Modern now. farmhouse. <laughs> yes. You're right. In fact, this neighborhood is so special. It's a mix of both old and new homes. Mm -hmm. There's some Victorian homes right around the corner. So before we go in and tour the home, you know, our track record today hasn't been that great. It's been lousy. Pretty much, yep. pretty much. Well, I really just want you to think about location, location, location. We're close to Rockville Town Center, the Civic Center, the Metro, everything in the heart of Rockville. Mm, okay. okay, we're gonna All take right. those words and we're gonna carry those words with us. All right, we'll see you for the game. All right, see All you right. then. All right. You know what? This yellow door is gonna bring me luck. I, I hope feel it does. It. I feel it. All right. Wow, what an entry. I know, what a wide foyer. Yeah. And you can see it's a new build. <laughs> it is a new build. <laughs> and a guest bathroom right Ooh, to our right. Oh, I like that wallpaper. Oh, wait, that's not wallpaper, that's tile. Ah, no, you know, we've seen that tile before on floors. Exactly. But I not love it all. on the wall. I know, and the ceiling height in here it is a great accent. Visual impact. I like that. All right, okay. good start. Shall we go to the kitchen? Kitchen. All righty. I just love these neutral palettes to these new homes. All right, great countertops. Yes, those are quartz, nice veining I throughout like with the gray. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, farmer sink. That is a huge <laughs> sink. This is the house of large <laughs> sinks, we'll say. <laughs> and I know you're probably eyeing the appliances. Beautiful stove. I love it. And no kitchen would be complete without a pot <gasps> pillar above your stove. That's another thing on the checklist. Checklist. All right. So we've got this nice peninsula here. Yeah. With a breakfast bar. Well, and you know what? You could easily fit six people. Good. But look at this. All this extra storage. More storage, always good. Nice. And it leads right into the dining area. I can envision a very large table, oh, maybe for 12 yeah. in this area. And what's great is the whole open concept, right from the kitchen and dining room the into the living room. room. And you have a bar for cocktail hour with a wine fridge. Mm -hmm. Well, I see some more great tile. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, this is one nice mud room. Well, the tile just grabs your eye. Yes. But you got all these cute cubbies, this large bench. I think this is an award winner for us. <laughs> I would just okay. hang out in that room. It's so pretty. <laughs> Ooh. All right, nice porch with three fans overlooking the backyard. Now this is nice. Yeah, all season. You know, I think I saw a hallway down here. Let's go take a look. Washer dryer. All right. All right, and look at more great tile. Yeah, they've got good taste in tile. I know. Okay, into okay. maybe a den. Wow, well, that's a good question because you've got these great patio doors. Mm -hmm. Out to that screened-in porch. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, whether it's a den or a bedroom, you could transition this into a bedroom, and then you could age in place because you have one nice. floor living, right? Mm -hmm. And of course. This would really seal that deal, a bathroom. I don't think we've quite seen something like this. It's pretty long. It is very long. Okay, first of all, double vanity, and the shower has even more great tile work. And then there's one more door back here. <gasps> John, it's a walk-in closet down here. Well, this is a perfect suite. This is a great bathroom. All right, well, this was a good surprise. It was. Okay, so why don't we head upstairs? Oh. Oh, almost missed a door. Downstairs, basement. <laughs> okay. All right, space is still left and right. I could see using as another seating area. Yeah, or a gym. Gym would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we check upstairs? Let's do it. Okay. I like these steps. All right. Oh, what do we have here? A nice landing. Wow, okay, so this is like the perfect book nook. Yeah, sure. And I think they even designed it that way because they've got the legs <laughs> and the bookshelves. But I also see this as a great gallery wall. Oh, too. yes. Okay, rooms to the left, to the right. Uh, let's go this way. To the right. Okay. Bedroom number two, closet over here, great windows. Yep. And you even have, oh, it's a Jack and Jill. Oh, the old Jack and Jill okay. bathroom. Nice double vanity, great tile again. More great tile. I love that they've buried the tile, but they've mm -hmm. kept the uh, quartz counters throughout the whole place. Right. And then we have your shower, tub, and toilet. And it wraps right around to... Connecting to our third bedroom. Now this is cozy. It's so quiet in here because I think, you know, you have this very lush carpet mm -hmm. that really absorbs the sound and closet space. And closet space. All, All right. right. All righty, Tina. Bedroom number four. Out of all 
the bedrooms, I will say this has the most unique layout. It certainly does. Nice L shape, mm -hmm. and you have double doors to a closet, closet. over here. Okay. And hey, hey, you have a full bath in this bedroom. Same finishes, except this time they used honeycomb tile. Oh, I think they've covered everything. I think they did. Okay. <laughs> All right. That does it, Tina. It does. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Okay, this is our time for redemption here. <laughs> Don't go over. Don't go over. <laughs> Let's try. Let's go find real one. Hello. Hi, welcome back. How was property number three? The only thing I have to say is tile. <laughs> yeah. Great, great tile and just fabulous designs and just a great cohesive look throughout the entire home. And that primary bedroom on the main level. Yes. yes. At first we were like, is this a den? Is it a TV room? And they were like, oh no, it's a bedroom, a great bedroom. And then we saw the beautiful bathroom. And I need that closet too. Everybody needs that closet. <laughs> Well, what about upstairs? The minute we walked up the steps and you had that landing. Mm -hmm. Christine was like, I think we should have an art gallery mm -hmm. here. And three great bedrooms, adorable, you know. I love a good Jack and Jill. You don't see them often. I think we need more of them. <laughs> so before that big decision, let me give you the stats one more time. We have four bedrooms, three and a half baths, over 3,000 square feet. It was originally built in 1923 and completely rebuilt in 2023. I do love Rockville so much. So I am going to give you a guess, Rowena, of 1,125,000. Mm, OK, so I think I'm going to come in at 1.1 1. 1 million. OK. OK, the list price is one point one nine. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> we won! I, this is a collective win for both of us. We did not go over. Jeez Louise. Thank you, Rowena, for a fun day. Thank you. Yeah.